Hello Frugal Force, once again this is Cap and Frugal reporting for duty. And today I want to just do something a little bit different than what I normally do. I was in my uh, comic book room, if you will, and I noticed these, and I forgot about this a little bit. Um, I never played Dungeons and Dragons, really, and stuff like that, but I did have the Marvel Superheroes official game. And you'd have all these characters, and it was very similar to the Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing, but with Marvel characters. And I have several of these Gamer Handbook of the Marvel Universe. And um, maybe I'll show some of these throughout some uh, other videos. But I, I just wanted to pull some out. And what it is is each one would have a list of characters, and they would give you information about those characters and their stats. So, you know, I have several of these. And it was really cool because, see, it'll tell you about groups, too, whole teams, like the Serpent Society. It'll tell you the background history of them. And it'll give you their stats. Like a six would be a normal human for each stat. And so you'd see how they are. Good, good. You know, they have rankings of how based on how high they are for each one of these respective things. As well as health, karma, popularity, and things like that. So you'd have that. Like here's Bushmaster, Coach Whip, Copperhead, Black Mamba's in here. Tons of them. Diamondback's in here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Diamondback, she was also in this too. Okay, and the Serpent Society for turning good. Okay, so she's in here. You can see about her in the Captain America book. Rock Python, Sidewinder, Puff Adder's in here. Shadow Cat. Remember this version of Shadow Cat? <laughs> what time period was this from? I, I you know, I'm not 100% sure. Let me see here if I can find that real quick. This one was 1988. So here's Shadow Cat. Okay. Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu there. His fighting was a 50. That's considered amazing rank. His agility was a 30. His strength was 20. Remember, a normal human is 6. So he's stronger than a normal human because of, you know, and that, that 20 is still in regular human range. It's just uh, peak, nearing peak human of exercising and things like that. Notice, notice these people too, by the way. You know, we've been hearing a lot lately about feminism and everything, how women are being portrayed, too sexy and things. Um, what about the men, too? They're, they're in good shape as well. It, it, you know, it's common. So look at this. Shanna the She-Devil. She looks beautiful. She's a good fighter with a 20. Good agility. Strength is more than a regular human. Yeah, you know, endurance. And also, she was smarter <laughs> you know, and things like that. So, you know, this is the way people were. And what's really wrong with that? I mean, people, when you draw, you want to read about characters that are at the pinnacle of health and, you know, what we'd aspire to be? Or do you want to read somebody that looks like they sit around eating chips all day? Now, for some characters, that works just fine. But for most cases, a superhero, this is somebody that's going to be highly active all the time. It makes more sense than them being in good shape. Look at this. Shaper of Worlds. Woo! Look at the power stats on it. Here's She-Hulk. Okay, that's Burn Era. She Hulk there. Fighting a 30. Strength was a 75. Okay. Endurance 50. Always liked her. And see, it gives, once again, it gives a little bit of information about them. Known relatives. Talks about their powers. Okay. She talks about Shield. How about Shocker? I always like the Shocker. I always think he's an undeserved uh, character. Doesn't get as much credit. It was nice seeing him in the Superior Foes of Spider Man. Shooting star, you don't see her much. I'd like to see her more, maybe. The shrewd, he's cool. I'd like to see more of him. He's sort of almost a generic Moon Knight, though, <laughs> you know, but with a different power set. I, he's not exactly the same. I'm not saying that. It's just there's a lot of similarities. At least it was that way to me. He's in, in some good stories, though. If you have a chance to read some about him, I'd recommend that you do it. Here's Sif. Look at that. Fighting is 75. That means she is a really good fighter. She really knows how to throw down. Also strong, agility. Powerful, awesome character. Here's Silver Sable, fighting 30. Once again, a regular person, 6. She's very good, combat effective. She's a little bit stronger than an average human because of a lot of exercise, 10. Because once again, remember, these are superheroes, not regular people. Here we are, Silver Surfer. Look at that, fighting 50. His agility, 75. His strength, 100. His endurance is 100. I mean, he's very powerful character, Norn Rad is. Silver Mane. So all these things, there's Sin Eater, it have all these characters in these books to help you play the game, but they're also a great source of information. Granted, by today's standards, they're outdated, but you can still go back and see some of the history uh, on these characters. There's Slide, I'd like to see him again, I haven't seen him in a while. Snowbird, we don't see her a whole lot. 
Okay, look at some of these other ones. Here we are in the Sons of the Tiger. Do you see these in Iron Fist? His book. Space Phantom, the original White Tigers in here. Spider-Man. Well, let's look at this. Let's take a moment and look at Spider-Man here. His fighting was 30. Remember, the average person is 6. His agility, 50. His strength is a 40. His endurance, 40. His reasoning is 20. His institution is 12. And his psyche is 40. This guy can take a lot. He's powerful. In Wild Krong, it talks about his powers, his strengths, his contacts. Here's the Spider-Woman. Now, this one is not the original Spider-Woman. This is the second one, the one you read about in the Avengers West Coast or West Coast Avengers, depending on what point in time you're reading it, because they switched the name a little bit. Okay, her real name at that time was unrevealed, and we know it is now. And she's no longer Spider-Woman in the books anymore, right? So they've made that change. I always liked this costume. I thought this costume was awesome. You know, I, I really did. I liked it. It was a spin-off in the black costume. I thought it looked really cool. I love this costume. In the comments, let me know. Did you like this costume of, of that Spider-Woman? I would love to see your thoughts on that. Here's Spiral. Spy Master. You always thought he was cool. You've seen him in, the, in uh, books like Iron Man. Talks about Squadron Supreme. Gives information on them, too. Dr. Spectrum, Quagmire, Nuke, Moonglow, Wizard, all kinds of them. Here's another one, Star Fox. You know, Star Fox has been in a lot of books. He's been in Avengers. He's a character I never really cared about until the most recent Thanos series. I really liked seeing him in Thanos. For some reason, I really liked how he was written in that. Made me actually like this character. Gives the Star Jammers, gives Stilt Man, <laughs> Stingray, Robot. Storm, here's the 80s version of Storm. Okay, also a good fighter, good agility, regular strength, very high endurance. How about this guy, Stranger? You don't see him much. He he's a very high class, powerful character. Okay, look at Shift X for strength. That's 150s. It, very very powerful character. Here's Namor Submariner. His fighting ability is a 40 because he's a very good fighter. Agility 30, his strength is a 75. That tells you he's very strong. He's almost Hulk level. Okay, he's like thing, thing level, a little bit stronger at the time than Jennifer, the She-Hulk. Okay. Now we have the Mongoloids. We have Sunfire, another character that probably should get used more, to be honest with you. He has a lot of uh, potential. Sunspot, we've seen him used a little bit more recently. That's been nice. The Super Adaptoid. Very powerful, starts regularly, but adapts to everything else with a duplication of power. You know, as long as the, the it also can absorb the appearance too. However, if scientists uses powers from three or more beings in, at once, it reverts it inert and risk losing some of the powers. It was interesting at the limitations on that, but it could get powers and use them from others. Another great character, Super Scroll, very powerful. Supreme Intelligence. So see, this book, these were really good. I've got a couple more of these. Surter, look how powerful he is. Fighting 150, agility 100, strength class 1000. This is a tough dude. <laughs> you know? Here's the Swordsman. Okay, the Talisman. I mean, it's just really a lot of good, interesting things. Taskmaster, love that character. Like to see him more used a little bit more. He, he does get some use, he gets used here and there. Uh, really cool character, amazing fighter, has ability to mimic fighting styles and things like that, great agility. You don't see this guy very much, you've seen him some in Avengers West Coast, Tatter Medallion. He was an interesting character as well. Terminus, very, very powerful character. Okay. Terex, okay, he was a you know, Silver Surfer, he's another cosmic level character. Thanos, so let's look at this, Thanos, since we got the movie coming up with Thanos. Fighting was 75. That's very good fighting ability. Agility, 30. Strength, 100. That's like Hulk level. Okay, Endurance, 100. That's probably Hulk level, maybe even more. I think Hulk was like 100 or 75. One or the other. Reason institution is like good. So he's very has a hefty guy. Very powerful. Armor skin. Monstrous protection against physical attacks and amazing protection from energy attacks. He has invulnerability of class 1000 resistance to heat, cold, electricity, radiation, toxins, aging, and disease. Now think about this because in his recent series he got 
you know, he was in trouble. So I wonder what got to him, because he's nearly invulnerable to all that. He also has plasma generation under the intensity blast from his hands and eyes. You know, reminds me of Dark Side, huh? <laughs> Self-sustenance. Infinite survival without air, food, or water. So notice that in the in the comic book Thanos, though, they had him hunting and, and things like that for food, where if you look, he can survive without that. <laughs> so, oopsie. Uh, wraith form. While under the Cosmic Cube's influence, he increases even more. So when he has that, he, he's had that. So he's an incredibly powerful character. We have Texas Twister. Once again, look at the body shape of these guys. Peak males. But nobody complained about how they're objectified. No. Wonder why it was. it's that dynamic. We have the thing, and the thing also, maybe I'll do a transition video of him. I plan on doing Wonder Man. It's, I've been putting that together. Maybe I'll do one of the thing, because the thing has actually transitioned over the years as well. His human form, they transferred to his traditional rocky form, but he also had occasions of a lumpy form, and for a time period in the 80s, he had a spiky form as well, and during the spiky form, he was actually stronger. Here we are. Now let's look at Thor, okay? The original, his fighting is 100. Excellent fighter. Agility, 20. Strength, 75. Endurance, 75. Very tough guy. Now, when he was cursed by Hela, if you remember reading that, he was really reduced significantly and had to wear that armor. Okay. There we are. Thor. During that period, he had the beard. <laughs> There's also Beta, Beta Ray Thor in here as well. Immensely awesome character and powerful. Thunderbird. I mean, these books were just really cool. Here's the Thunder Riders. <laughs> Thundra. Now, once again, very powerful woman. But look at that. Muscular. Tough, but still looks like a female. There's nothing that's being over-sexualized necessarily here. There's nothing wrong with that. Just like every guy. Tiger Shark. Look at that. Dude's immensely tough. Tigra. Now, there's reasons for how she... Tinkerer. Yes, he's an old dude that does tinkering for the bad guys. And we find out recently in Spectacular Spider-Man that he has a brother who's working and doing stuff for S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, here we go. How about her? Right? She's with Absorbing Man. Also immensely powerful and tough. Hmm. Titanium Man. Toad. See, not every character has to be that way. And I understand that. But in most of the cases, who's going to want to look at an unattractive looking character unless they are supposed to be that way for reasons? Look at the traitor, the trapster, or paste pot Pete, right? <laughs> Trash, the team. Triton. Two gun kid. UFOs are in here. Very puff, tough team. You look very tough, dude, also. Ultron's in here. And this was uh, version 11, I think, and this also has multiple versions Ultron 1. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Tell, and you can see how he's improved himself over the time. Umar, Unicorn, Union Jack. And it's, these books were great. They had all these characters you could just read about. Ursa Major, Valkyrie, another great character. She was with Flash Thompson for a while in the Venom series. Right, she's put, also had a lot of time in the Defenders book, which never gets a whole lot of credit. Probably because it was never like super awesome, but it was always an okay book. You know, very powerful, awesome character. Okay, all kinds of other ones here. They don't show pictures of Van Helsing, Nimrod, Vanguard. You don't see him much. Vanisher, Vermin, a lot in Spider-Man, Vindicator. Viper, Captain America, kind of villain. Vision, Volcano. Look at old man Vulture. <laughs> I mean, these are just really cool. Here's a Warlock. Here's Adam Warlock. Here's the Wasp, Janet. Wendigo, or some people say Wendigo. Werewolf. Whirlwind. You know, I've always liked Whirlwind. I thought he was cool, but they always play him off a bit of a joke. Well, almost always. Matter of fact, he was also really cool in the uh, Captain American Avengers video game on the arcade as well as Captain America and Sega Genesis. The White Queen. Willow the Wisp. I mean, that's, these books were just really good. You get to check out these characters, read about them. Wolfsbane, you know, Wolverine. 
So you notice something here too? Look at there's been a lot of diversity in characters, hasn't there? Yeah, there has been, and this is just one volume out of many. Wonder Man, another character I really have always liked, and I never think he gets enough attention. Look, his fighting is 20, so he's better in normal human fighting. His agility is 30. His strength is 100. It's actually an unknown thing by a lot of people. They don't realize this. They don't know how strong he is. He's very similar to the Hulk, where Hulk gets mad, he gets stronger. There's been no real guaranteed uh, uh, calculating of the power level of Wonder Man. So... He also very high endurance, very, very tough guy. But another thing a lot of people didn't realize, too, he also has super hard skin. Okay, he, So he has high vulnerability also against heat and cold. Now, he also does not require food, water, or air to survive. So, you know, he's very good. But another thing people don't realize, too, is he has jetpacks. It's because he couldn't actually fly. Okay, He was able to hover. But he couldn't fly, so he'd hover and he'd use the jetpacks to help direct himself so he could fly where he wanted to. So, very, very cool. Wrecker, very powerful. I mean, these books were just really, really cool. I just wanted to, to share some of that with you. There's Yellow Jacket. Mirror, another powerful one. Zeus. Zabu. There's another one we need to see. You need to see that a while. I haven't seen that one in a while. <laughs> you know, these books were great for that. Here's the whole Zodiac. So it was cool, too, because if you're reading the comics and you didn't go, wait a minute, who was that? I don't remember them very much. You could pull out one of these books and you could look up that character and learn about them really quick. You know, I have several of these books. So I, I, I could look through these sometimes for hours. This this one was just, I think, what, volume four? Yeah, I, I know there was at least eight of them. And I've got several more of those. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. You know, if you get a chance, if you see one of these pretty cheap, maybe snag it. They're, they're pretty darn cool. Okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notifications bell. And spread the word to help increase the size of the Frugal Force. On top of that, if you enjoyed this video and you really want to help me, go ahead and go to my Vidme channel. You can subscribe there if you're not already there. For as little as $1 a month or give a one-time tip. Also, if you continue to enjoy these things too well, at the beginning uh, very early on in, t in the next year 2018 i plan to launch my patreon where i'm gonna, we're in the process right now working a few things out of what kind of things i want to give back and how i want to set it up so thank you for spending this time with me and until next time keep it frugal